Armin, obviously, uh, right here. Huge fight for you. These are the type of fights you've been asking for for a long time. So to be here on a card like this, a name like Charles Oliveira, is this just kind of a, a dream come true? Yeah, it's dream comes true. And uh, so excited and uh, to be in UFC 300 and to fight for the contender number one. Yeah, no doubt in your mind, no matter what happens in any of these other fights, if you win this the way you think you're going to, you're fighting Islam next? Yeah, definitely. Dana White said, this, who win this fight going to fight for the title. And I'm the next. And of course, you don't want to think beyond this. This is a very difficult fight with Charles, but there's this kind of Islam saying he wants to fight June 1st. Would that even be possible to ask you to turn around in seven weeks? I don't know. I can answer this question Saturday. For sure. And uh, just your thoughts on Charles and kind of where he is at this point in his career. A lot of people have vocalized that they think, you know, he quits in fights and he folds and things like this. Do you, do you see him as that guy or do you think he's, you know, someone different now? No, how a former champion can be like this. So he, he was a former champion. He defend titles and uh, the quicker guys can be a champion. So I don't think so. Like, Armin, right here. Uh, Charles uh, did an interview earlier this week. You know, he responded to some of the things you said about him. You know, his, he's obviously limited and he takes backs really well, but nothing really else. Maybe he's not hungry. And he, he just kind of like called it bullshit talk. Do you think you are getting under his skin before this fight? I mean, I got to talk about him, you know, because he doesn't talk about me. I got to talk about him. So I want to like to get people to watch this fight more. And that's why I got to say something about him. So it's nothing personal. You're just trying to. No, no, no. I'm just trying to to get more fun to watch this fight. Um, and just two really quick ones for me. Can I get your thoughts on the main event between Jamal and Alex and the BMF fight between Justin and Max? Uh, I want to say about BMF, I feel like Justin going to knock him out first time. And what about the uh, the main event between Alex and Jamal? Main event is, uh, I don't know, 50-50. But to be honest, I didn't watch their fights because they're not in my division. I just, I just watched a couple of highlights and uh, like 50-50. I don't know them very well. I'm in over here. You suffered your uh, second loss inside the company in June of 22. It was a very close fight, but now fast forward to April 2024, you're about to fight Oliver and potentially earn the title shot after Saturday night. So did anything change from that night to now? And if so, what changed? Uh, a lot of things changed. I'm getting better every day. I'm just 27 years old, you know, and like I'm learning every day new techniques and uh, uh, I got a lot of experience, and I got three more fights after that, or four more fights, I don't remember. But yeah, so I feel like now I got better, and uh, my striking is getting better, my wrestling, grappling, conditional, you know, and uh, also English. Armin over here? Armin, right back here. How's it going? Good, how are you? I'm doing great. Good to see you. Um, we obviously saw that you were training at American Top Team for this camp. Dustin Poirier fought Charles Oliveira. Did he give you any sort of insight uh, on him as an opponent? Did you get to work with Dustin at all? No, I didn't work with uh, Dustin because uh, he had the fight before me. So, uh, But our coach is the same, you know, and uh, they already know what I got to do during the fight. And... Uh, what mistake did uh, Dustin? I shouldn't do the same, you know. And uh, we work a, lo a lot on it, and um, we watch all his fights, and uh, uh, we did good job. So I feel like this Saturday, I'm gonna show good performance. Um, we saw Grant Dawson in a photo with you. Who are some of your other training partners for this camp? Yeah, a lot of sparring partners, and uh, I don't wanna. Make like say one name because I have 10, 15 sparring partners, and uh, everybody help, help me. And thank you so much, ATT. And uh, I know uh, Isaac Dalgarian uh, mentioned to me in an interview. He's Armenian as well. He mentioned about uh, getting to train with you at some point. Have, have you spoken to him at all? Obviously, he's a, a tough uh, a opponent in the featherweight division. Yeah, he's a good guy, and uh, we just t text text to each other. But uh, I haven't seen him personal. Yeah, but if uh, he wants to come to ATT, of course, 
Uh, now I'm trying to bring as much as Armenian fighters in ATT and to train, uh, to, to train together. And just last one for me, I know you like hockey. Uh, are you going to be going to the Golden Knights game on uh, Friday night? They're playing the Minnesota Wild. If they invite me, yes. Arman, over here, what sets you apart from other fighters in the division? How do you plan to leverage those skills on Saturday night? Say one more time, please. How, how do you, what sets you apart from the division and what skills set are you going to show on Saturday night? I'm going to do my work, you know, what I was training so long, you know, tried to be well-rounded, tried to strike, wrestle, grappling, like, I want to be best on uh, every position and I feel like my skills, it, uh, my skills, that skills I have, I can strike, I can wrestle, I can grapple. So I'm going to uh, tell him what we're going to do during the fight. If Charles invites you to the ground, is that something you're going down on the ground with him? No problem. Armin Road over here. Uh, obviously on the card is your teammate Kayla Harrison. In Miami, you were asked that thing with the fans and it became a bit of an issue. She said you guys had talked about it. Can you just explain a little bit just from your point of view what was going on when you heard it and just everything that happened? Oh, what happened, we talked, we talked to each other after that and uh, she understood what I mean and uh, now we're good. Arman, I know you've spent a lot of your training camp in Russia, and you've been training under a three-time freestyle wrestling world champion. How much has that helped you level up your grappling and prepare you for such a high-level grappler like Charles Oliveira? Yeah, uh, in Russia, it's the best freestyle wrestling in the world, and uh, training with them, it's, uh, it gives me, uh, you know, I think the hardest training is a freestyle wrestling because they train like a crazy three times a day and uh, uh, yeah, it, ge it gave me to wrestle very well and uh, to improve my condition, especially like wrestling condition. Извиняюсь, продолжая тему России, самой большой точкой величия в легком дивизионе, если мы говорим и о медийной составляющей, и о спортивной, является Хабиб Нурмагомедов. Чувствуешь ли ты в себе силу, что ты можешь в этих компонентах его превзойти? Если да, то что именно для этого тебе нужно сделать? And for our English-speaking colleagues, uh, the question was about uh, legacy that left in lightweight uh, division Habib Nurmagomedov, and is Arman feel that he can uh, be even greater? If, if we are talking both of sport and media. Еще раз на русском вопрос можно? Если мы берем и спортивную составляющую, и медийную, то самое большое наследие в легком дивизионе оставил Хабиб. Чувствуешь ли ты, что ты можешь его превзойти? И если да, что тебе для этого нужно сделать? Ну, превзойти в этой жизни можно любого. Нужно сделать как, как минимум, как он, максимум, еще больше защитить титул. Ну, раз, наверное, 6-7. И быть таким же достойным человеком, как он. И я думаю, что все получится. Но я не стремлюсь быть медийным, как он. Я хочу просто стать чемпионом и защитить пару раз этот титул и просто доказать самому себе, что я могу быть чемпионом. Обоя. На английском надо? Should I say in English? Uh, так, что он там на английском сказал? Like I'm confused. Uh, I don't want to be a superstar, superstar like Habib. I just want to be a champion and defend a couple of times my belt, and that's it.